shoulders and, and with their half cap latte, super foam, and all that was it. Like they don't need a job. So why all of a sudden now is it all convenient? It's because you didn't give a shit about who was there before. And that has to change. You know? Underserved communities are underserved because they're underserved, and that's the only reason. And a lot of times it's because certain people are there. That's why I started growing food. It goes so much deeper than food. It, it, ain't, even, it ain't even about the food. But don't tell nobody because they pay me. <laughs> if I, you know, nice plans, sure. But it's not. It's about freedom. It's about freedom from an unjust system. You know, because I have these PhDs and they'll ask me, well, Ron, what, what does, what does, what does food have to go do with a kid going to prison? And I'm like, don't you have those letters behind your name, PhD? And why are you asking some remedial black guy from South Central? And I'll tell them, I have to break it down. Okay, you got a kid, and from day one, they're eating garbage that they're supplying. A lot of times in these areas, the only food that they get is the food at that school. And it's food-ish stuff. Okay, so they grow up, and you're not giving them the knowledge that you want, that they need to compete. In a, in, a, in a competitive world, even in a competitive city with other with other schools. So they grow up and you've been showing them all of this stuff. If you have this, this means you're successful. You know, if you have, you need this couch, you need this car, you need this, you need this, and you if you had a job and you would buy this and you should be wearing this watch and you should be wearing these shoes and, and this it, this means you're you're successful. But you haven't given them none of the tools, none of the opportunity to get none of this. So what the hell do you think they're gonna result to? What, did, what have you shown them, crime? See, it's not about garden, it's not about food. It's about opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, to, to, it's opportunity to design the life you wanna live and not the one that's designed for you. Because this society especially in California, which is the biggest prison system there is, period. We have to have people in prison. We have to. It's just it's the way it was built. Guess what we want in prison? And I tell people, what are we, 8%, maybe 8 to 12% of the, of the population here? They're going to run out of black people in a minute. <laughs> Prison still has got to run because it supplies so many industries and people don't look at that. So guess who they're coming after? They're coming after white folks next, so you guys better be ready for that. <laughs> because you got to think the prison system, well this is, the, let me, see. okay. The prison system su supplies, don't just think of the building. Think of the whole industry. Think of the tires on the police cars. Think of the police cars. Think of the guns. Think of the bullets. Think of the lawyers. Think of the bailiffs. Think of the judges. Think of the courthouses. Do you really think they're going to stop the telephone call? You know how much it costs to call from prison? The mm. sheets. Mm. The electronics, the computers, all that. The guards. Think of how big this industry truly is. Don't just think the building. They're not going to stop this. That's why I do what I do. Not. The hell with recidivism. Let's keep them from going to prison. That's where we start. Let's not let's let let's educate kids on what's truly important, what's truly valuable. Okay, because that's what that's where we are now. That's what I talk. What's valuable? They don't learn what's valuable. I go around the world and I ask a single question: What is the single most important thing to your life? And I asked it three times. What is the single most important thing to your life? And you would say what? No, not even close. He said, my dog, my cat, my wife, my husband, my... No, air is the single most important thing to your life. <laughs> Nobody says that shit. Why? Because <laughs> if you knew that you could... Has your doctor ever told you, hey, dude, you know if you breathe like this, you can change your heart rate? Mm. If you breathe like this, which means you change your blood flow? Has, do we get that in elementary school? That air is the single most important thing. Not food, not water, not sex, well, not, <laughs> but, but air. So 
So why don't we why don't why don't why don't we, why don't we get why don't we value that? Because that that would mean there's certain things that we we don't see. So what I'm trying to think of with what I'm trying to do with the garden is show people that there's another way. That like these parkways here. This is literally on the street. This is literally my garden. Um, probably a couple of weeks ago. Sunflower is 14 foot high, banana trees, and it's just it's just a food forest. Um, and it's right on the expo line. Uh, this is a school that we did in San Diego, um, and it was 450 students, and every child got to participate in building their garden. And this is this is where this is where we start. We got to start with these kids because some of you guys are too old and jaded to change. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a mindset, you know, because because you you ask people, I don't get it why people ask me why did I decide to grow food. It is the, to me, it's the most dumbass question that you could possibly imagine. You know, basically with me, I got tired of traveling to go get my food, and I said, why isn't my food in my community? Why do I have to leave outside of my community to get food? <laughs> But then when the gentrifiers come in, what's the first thing that happens? Cafes, mm. open air, we got seats on the street now. Mm, 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 mm. Why didn't we have that before? Why couldn't I go get a burger and sit on the, in front of a, a busy street and eat it, you know? <laughs> why, do, why, do, why do only the gentrifiers get this luxury? <laughs> That's why I started growing food. And I got a real simple concept. Beauty in, beauty out. If you put beauty into an environment, if you put beauty into anything, that's what you're going to get out. I had three sons, and the mantra was, as they grew up, was operate from happy. The shit don't make you happy, don't do it. And that's what the, that's how they grow up. Too. There was no violence. There was no drugs. There was no. There was none of that in my house. And I got three beautiful sons that's doing what they want to do their whole lives. They're not doing what somebody else designed them uh, to do. It's like we were talking about backstage, whereas you know, parents have this thing with like, I'm a doctor, so you're going to be a doctor, or I wanted to be a basketball player, so you're going to be a basketball player. And it's like, dude, I want to be a fucking ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be no damn basketball player. <laughs> but as parents, what do we do? We think we know what's best for them. Mm -hmm. Let kids be kids. Mm -hmm. Let them tear shit up. Let them write on the walls. Repaint it. Give them a piece of string and, and a nail and lock them in a room and I bet you will have a skyscraper or something, Bill. You know, we <laughs> do not allow children to be what they are. Mm -hmm. Children. Okay, so we, especially nowadays, you know, with the, with all the, the technology, we're 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 being um, their their minds are drying up. They are not they they don't they don't get to use their ingenuity. And I I I, <laughs> I think if I if I had any kind of technical skills, that's the app I would do. Mm. I would do an, an an app for intuition. Mm. Mm. We don't use it anymore. You don't have to, because all you have to do is press a button, and it's there at your door. You know, you know where you're going. Nobody has to know longitude, latitude. You know, you don't have to know east from west. You don't have to know. I, cause and these millennials, oh my god. <laughs> okay, hey man, hand me a hand me a, a, a Phillips head screwdriver. What's that? <laughs> okay, I know, I know. I get. I, it's the one with the with the the straight one, right? I know you don't know what a Phillips head screwdriver. Is. <laughs> but that's where we're coming because we're letting this technology babysit us, and all it is doing is making us dumber because there's things in our brains that are not firing that we need to know. We're not using our brain, and it's just like anything else. If you just sit your arm there all day. It's going to get atrophy. 
Mm-hmm. And that's what's happening with these brains nowadays. Mm-hmm. We're getting answers. Why do I grow food? <laughs> why did I do this? Why did why did <laughs> why did I be, become a criminal because I planted food on the street? Which this you know this led to. I mean, this is the second time it's happened. The first time I had to take it out. Um, I had to go to court. Had a warrant, you know. And so the second time, a year later, we did it. And I thought, the hell with you. Bring it. Do what you're gonna do, because I'm not taking it out mm-hmm. this time. Um, and, that, and this is what happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I um, now with this, I've been able to speak and transform people's lives all over the world. Mm-hmm. And um, I, this is not something I thought, I didn't want this. I didn't want this for my life. Who the hell chooses this? You know, I didn't, uh, I kept dodging the arrow, but it hit me in the butt, you know, so somehow or another. <laughs> But it is. I mean, this 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 is a it's a daunting task uh, because you got to realize that the powers that be don't want this to happen. You know, and anybody here from Unilever, by chance? <laughs> Damn. So sometimes, you know, I, it's like I'm doing. A, I'm I'm you know, Unilever. I'm trying to get their. They want me to come on and do because some things with them because they're trying to do better. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so, you know, the guy says, you know, well, we're at lunch. Well, I want, I want to know what you guys think about us. And they are. They're trying to do some good stuff. And I said, well, in my truest form at the lunch, 